Hey everyone, talking about why I deleted all of my Fragranica reviews. A lot of people found my channel through my Fragranica, and I think I had the most reviews of any account on there. Either way, there was a lot. It was like around 3,000. I've spent like two months in a row spending time every single day moving uh, stuff into a spreadsheet, tracking info, including like what everybody rates as, you know, longevity and projection for each fragrance that I've tried. And I am going to be reposting them elsewhere, but some people have been asking about why they all suddenly disappeared and, or fi over the course of two months, finally got them all deleted. So I wanted to kind of jump in with a video about that and mention again that I will be reposting them somewhere. In a nutshell, I do not want my content supporting for Granica because of the ownership and staff. I already didn't like how they didn't do stuff about a lot of like pretty rampant, hateful comments on their platform. For example, any scent that's even remotely associated with something like a pride scent or like, you know, some something to do with someone being gay or something like that. People just immediately go and leave like really nasty comments, vote really in a very like offensive things and the like how this reminds me of you know fragrance section and stuff like that they automatically vote it as a one just like all these things and there's other things that you know first of all that that's just like really offensive and i'm not down with discrimination against different groups of people and second it just makes the database so unreliable too that they're so okay with people kind of spamming but even more offensive that it's just from something so hateful but yeah um it's for Granica's site, they can do whatever they want, and also it's my content, so I just don't want it supporting that. And kind of with the final straw for me, there was a couple of articles where I saw their actual staff members saying things that were expressing support for what I consider pretty hateful comments against different, you know, minority groups and stuff. And I'm sure they don't think it was hateful. It wasn't so blatant as well, it was felt like that way to me reading it, but I don't think they necessarily meant that, but it was not some, you know, minor thing of just like, they didn't know some obscure woke term or anything like, it was not like that. It was very offensive, kind of like, uh, there was a couple articles. One was like a list of the best black perfumers. Another one was about uh, some LGBT campaign. I think it was like a trans actor in a Gucci campaign or something like that. And people were leaving just such nasty comments on it. And it's like, it's one thing if the ownership just didn't care, you know, they're like, free speech, you can say whatever you want, we're not going to moderate it. I wouldn't agree with that in terms of if you're, if somebody's going to use your platform for like outright hateful things, that's a lot different than just like a difference of opinion or something. But if that was really what they could claim, okay, at least they could claim that, but they can't because they do jump in and argue very passionately and what I would consider aggressively and angry if it's an issue that they care about. For example, there was something about a law being passed that would make fragrance safer and, you know, ban certain unsafe ingredients. And that really pissed them off because of free market stuff or whatever. And I'm not saying there's not nuance to that conversation, but the fact that that moved them so much to be so mad and just really like angry in the comments. But yet when they comment on articles, you know, responding about people saying like really racist, homophobic, transphobic type of stuff, they didn't, there, where was the anger then? Like they were not showing that energy there at all. And they were, some of them were making what I considered to be very rude, offensive comments too. Um, and I'm talking about like people on, you know, the LGBT one calling LGBT people groomers and like saying just like really terrible things about different groups of people, really offended on the one about the black perfumers and just like so many things where I was just like, okay, if this is what the staff are down with and even saying things that I personally feel are very like hateful. Um, and again, this is just my opinion if they try to say, you know, I don't, who knows if they'll even see this, um, but I don't want my content on there supporting it, not telling anybody else what you should do with yours or like you should remove yours too, or trying to rile people up. But just as an explanation for why I remove mine, I'm not down with my content as if they care about one review, but there, I did have ton, thousands of reviews on there and there was a lot of fragrances where mine was the only review on there. So I do think that Maybe it's doing a tiny bit to remove it and bring it to a different platform. And uh, yeah, basically I've just heard other negative things about their staff and ownership over the years and seeing that kind of stuff firsthand about it being so directly like hateful and perpetuating really negative stereotypes against different genders, uh, sexual orientation, races and stuff like that. I am out. so. Uh, peace for Granica and this is why and I will definitely do another video you know saying where you can check it out when I add the reviews to someplace else.